Hello, my name is Tom and I'm a pre-sales engineer at Solutions PT. And today we're going to learn about InTouch Web, learning the basics. So InTouch Web is a way of viewing industrial graphics in an HTML5 supported browser. And the way in which it works is you have Window Viewer running in the background and the InTouch Web server running in the background. And any changes you make during design time to your graphics will get published to the InTouch web server. The InTouch web server can also run on various different browsers as long as they support HTML5. So I've got a InTouch machine here running InTouch 2020 R2, and I've got uh, some graphics on the screen with their data going up and down. So if you wanted to launch the InTouch web client in Window Maker, as long as you're on a compatible version, in the top right hand corner, there's the web client button. And if you click on that, that will launch your default web browser and it will launch your application in HTML5 format. So as you can see here, all of my windows are in the same positions and they're displaying the same graphics with the same data updating. And you can see the address bar there, localhost, my local machine, but if you're on a different machine, you just put in the machine where your InTouch web server and application are running. So to navigate the InTouch web, in the top left-hand corner, you can press this drop-down, and it allows you to search for specific symbols, or you can click on them directly here. So if I click on my KPI symbol, for example, it will take the space, and you can click this little home button up here to go back to your home windows. Okay, so in order for this to work in Window Maker, you have to have what's called a InTouch Web Client root folder, and that's indicated with this little home symbol here in my graphic toolbox. So to enable that, you just right click on whichever folder you want and set it as the Web Client root folder. So any graphics in this folder can now be viewed in the Web Client. So to make a change during runtime, if I just open up my a menu graphic, for example, and drag that over to the left. If I show my web client on the right. So if I wanted to make a change, like for example, if I add a clock symbol to my graphic, and even though the web client is running, if I save and close the symbol, you should see a loading indication during runtime. And when it refreshes, you should see the symbol appear, like the change I've made appear in the graphic. The clock has been added there. So the way in which licensing works for the InTouch web is that um, you can run it on one machine for free. But if you'd like to run it on more machines, you need to acquire an InTouch web client license. And for every machine, that is used, it picks up a license. Thank you.